Okay, so here we are folks. This is something that I've been wanting to do for a while and kind of just sat on this but really need to do it anyways. This is a Phalaenopsis that I had for quite a while now and this is actually a very old girl. Now she doesn't look that old because she doesn't have that many leaves because actually all of her leaves had fallen off and she was just down to one leaf and look she's kind of recovered and bounced back. But this method that I'm going to be showing you is actually a method that encourages more new growth. And this is so extreme in the aspect of you're going to cut the top portion of it, but also the bottom portion of it as well you're going to keep. And that's just going to be roots. And what's going to happen supposedly as far as what it showed in the video is that new growth is also going to come on the bottom portion of it which is just the root area nothing but roots and somehow some way leaves or cakeys are supposed to grow from there as well now again this is just going to be roots absolutely nothing more than just roots and that's kind of amazing because as you guys know the foliage system actually is what really derives the energy from the sunlight which of course we all know as photosynthesis and the sunlight becomes sugar that the plant actually uses for energy now without the leaves that means how in the world does a plant get energy well let me tell you folks Phalaenopsis and other orchids are really known for being such aggressive survivors where they can survive situations that normal plants could not survive. So indeed, I'm very excited to see if this will be the case in this method as well. And I'm gonna take you through the journey and of course you guys have to stay tuned and we'll see what becomes of this. Now, I want to say a special shout out to Joshua of Joshua's Aquarium because he is actually the one that suggested this method and also shared the video with me that inspired me to do this as well so let's go ahead and get started folks okay folks as you can see I have my handy dandy gardener's glove because this has been out here for a while so I don't know what creepy crawly creatures could possibly be in here so um, yeah I'm gonna be a little bit cautious in how I go ahead and remove all of this gook no, it's not that bad, folks. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And we're just going to go ahead and remove all of this gunk. Let's see, can we just pull her up? And I'm going to show you guys. She has a pretty hefty root system, like one that is out of this world. Because I remember when I did this, actually, i got to be careful because I'm ah, beginning to mess with her roots here. But yeah, here it is, folks. Yeah, she had a pretty crazy root system right here. That really indicates how old she was. And again, when she had lost all of her leaves, unfortunately, now it doesn't show how old she is because her leaves, yeah, she used to be like absolutely huge. Okay, so this is what we have to work with, guys. Okay, folks, and before we begin, I'm just going to go ahead and spray this down with peroxide. And this is peroxide 3%, just trying to disinfect. Again, there's some roots that are actually rotten in there, so I'm going to have to clean her up a little bit. And I also have this knife right here that is sanitized, very sharp. This is like one of my favorite knives. So I'm just going to go in here and I'm just going to kind of remove any dead bits that need to be out of here. Because since I'm going to be doing a repot, I really don't want to take with her any of these dead roots that really don't need to go and could possibly cause some more rotting. So definitely that's what I'm going to be doing. So I will be back as soon as I am finished. Okay folks and here we are and I'm just really trying to find a good spot to cut it at. As you see there's enough roots right here and I think right about here would be a decent spot to cut this. Now let's see. Now as you guys know with my other propagation this is pretty tough spot right here and actually this one wasn't that difficult hmm very nice so here we are and some of the roots are tangled in so take those roots out now we have them in two sections okay so this is the bottom section of course right here this is the bottom section 
and this right here of course is the top section now this should grow really easy this should not skip a beat at all for the simple fact that look at all the roots that this has so definitely she will be quite all right and as i'm looking right here i actually see a little tiny growth and i'll do a close-up on that so you guys can see that as well but it looks like that could be a cakey already so she's going to be fine guys now this one right here is the one that i'm unsure of i only seen this one time in a video so we'll see supposedly what will happen is from this stem right here will come cakeys so we'll see i'm going to go ahead and repot her and then of course we're going to keep a close eye on yet another extreme propagation okay folks and this is basically how it's going to sit so this is just the root system with the stem and it's going to be on that side and then i'm going to have the foliage and the new plant right on this side so that's how it's going to be situated i'm just going to put the medium in here and then we're going to hang her right back up and then we're going to keep a very close eye on her so here we go just dropping in the medium Putting it all around, moving it about, making sure that it is indeed even throughout the pot. Here we go. I know I'm being a little bit sloppy here, but hey, we're going to make it happen regardless. Okay, folks, and here we are. Mission completed. Now here, of course, is the Phalaenopsis top part, and this right here is the Phalaenopsis, just the stem and the root portion, right here. So indeed, we're going to keep a close eye on this very extreme propagation, and as you guys know, with my other extreme propagation, these Phalaenopsis are indeed very, very aggressive in their mode to survive. It is an interesting experiment because we indeed especially want to see this right here, just the root, just the stem, no leaves at all all have the opportunity of growing cakeys on this now what do you guys think do you think this is capable of doing just that let me know in the comments below indeed stay tuned for more and of course if you guys want to contact me on facebook please be sure to do that at my orchid adventures and as you guys know, I also have a P.O. Box address to also stay in contact with you through the mail system. So if you guys want to contact me through the mail, if you want to send me a card, a letter, whatever, please feel free to do so at my P.O. Box address, which should be like somewhere right here. Again, I thank you guys so much. Stay tuned. And of course, I love you all. Bye-bye.